Renowned studies link periodontal diseases with heart and brain diseases, and treated gum disease has been found to cause bacteria to attach to fat deposits in the heart's blood vessels. The outcome would be a high risk of developing atherosclerosis and suffering heart attacks and strokes. Here we discuss the most effective ways to keep our mouths as healthy as possible. Use oral rinses that contain chlorine dioxide. It's best for eliminating bacteria and their bad odor. Don't use alcohol containing mouthwashes because they dry your mouth, allowing more bacteria to grow. And statistically, it's closely related to cancer. According to a careful French study, chewing gum reduces bad breath, but only for an hour. This is because it doesn't completely remove the sulfur compounds that actually cause the strong Older. However, many dentists recommend sugar-free gum containing xylitol, which stimulates saliva, not allowing bacteria to feed. Always brush your teeth at least two times a day when you wake up and at bedtime before going to sleep because the saliva that fights tartar will dry out at night. So it's always best to clean your mouth before going to bed and just at waking up in the morning because it will eliminate traces of tartar and bacteria that might have accumulated during sleep. Believe it or not, your mouth and especially your tongue is the most unpleasant and polluted part of your body. More than 1,000 different types of bacteria can be generated here every night. This is the cause of bad breath that can be eliminated through daily scraping with a tongue brush. According to a well-known scientific experiment in New York that studied 50 pairs of twins, the amounts of sulfur decreased by 70% in people who brushed their tons for two minutes twice a day for 15 days. Lingual brushing has been identified as a very important way to kill the bacteria that fit on the microscopic particles of food that adhere to the tongue. To keep your brush as healthy as possible, the following is recommended. Soak it in a disinfectant mouthwash. Hold for 20 minutes to help kill germs. Do not reuse the liquid or use it for more than one brush. Rinse with cold water and hold it upright after each use to allow water to drain from the bristles. Never store a wet brush in a closed container and do not allow the bristles of other family members to touch each other. Replace all electric brushes or heads every three months. It should be noted that electric brushes offer us a much deeper cleaning. A reputable scientific study of 10,000 people revealed that an electric toothbrush with bristles that rotate in alternate directions, first in one direction and then in the other one, eliminates 40% more tartar and reduces gum disease by 25% more than manual toothbrushes. After a cold, and sore or itchy throat always replace it. The ancient Egyptians already used toothpaste composed of pumice stone, ox ash, mare, and burnt egg shells. In 1850, Dr. Washington Sheffield of Connecticut detected the general formula that became the current toothpaste contained in tubes. With respect to dental floss, it should be kept in mind that it is the only method to remove food rest behind the premolars. There is increasing evidence that its use helps to 
reduce the risk of dangerous diseases. Without doubt, everything that enters your body is reflected in the color of your teeth. Mainly responsible are black tea, red wine, cola drinks, dark juices, tobacco, and meat sauces. So, if you have something dark before you put it in your mouth, it's likely to stain your teeth. The apples will always be welcome because it is the fruit per excellent that exerts a super whitening action. Researchers at the University of Michigan analyzed bleach products that contained carbamide or hydrogen peroxide and found that they work. However, 90% of people who use them feel very high tooth sensitivity. According to the American Heart Association, a visit to the dentist can eliminate any problem from the root, even any cancer. This means you can do much more than just save teeth and gums. The big problem is that most of us do not know it, but it's definite. Gum disease can cause premature births and increase the risk of diabetes, pneumonia, and many heart problems. The the doctor must analyze your palate, inner cheeks, lips and tongue with great precision to detect any strange wounds or lumps. This is widely advised by Dr. Bruce Pilstrom, director of the Cranial Facial Research Institute in New York. And if the doctor doesn't do, the patient must demand it very strongly. Finally, he tells us seriously. Nobody can imagine how many times I have seen patients with gum infections and have had to diagnose diabetes.